long since we've been back out of hospital. Good morning, people. It is random and desperate, the local pervert. I would... <laughs> and we're with Keto Greg today. And we're just doing our little walk down these steps of hell. Now, I remember you and I doing a challenge with, with you. Yeah. When you walked up and down these steps, what was it, 12 times? Yeah, 12 times. Walking down's fine, but walking up, it was, uh, let's just say, challenging. That was for um, a guy called Brett Francis, and he donated 50 pounds to the charity. £5 uh, for £10 every three times to come up and down like you know what I mean. It's 40 quid. So he gave me 50 quid to go and give me quid. Which we gave to charity. <laughs> That's why I did it as many times as I could. Could you do it now? Go up and down? Once. <laughs> Best with the way I am at the moment. Uh, I know I'm nowhere near as fit as I was then, like, you know what I mean? I'm even slipping then going down, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please slip, because I, it would be quite funny, actually. It won't be for you. <laughs> no, definitely not, no. I like how they do a heart shape here. Yeah, built it in onto a cobble. wonder what the significance is, why they did that. I think I'm trying to say, watch your heart, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Going up. It's 128 steps through it. Bleeding out. And you did it what 12 times? 12 times, yeah. Now is this part of a let's just say an old house or something? Because if you look up, it looked like an entrance to an old house or is it just a no, park? It's, like it's been a park for years and years apparently. <laughs> Hollywood Park. Hollywood Park. Hollywood. Yeah, the local football field there. Just down the bottom. Come down here sometimes, watch a match. So that was good as going to county like, you know. <laughs> 128 steps, mate. Bloody hell. Imagine doing it blindfolded. <laughs> Gets you out of breath just coming down him. I know. What was it called? The wool pack. The wool pack is still. I don't know what it's going to be. Maybe <laughs> blacks or something, I don't know. Look at that beautiful building. That's empty. Empty? Yeah. Used to be the clock, so. Denton. Denton, Stockport, I'm in the wrong area. Let's have a look. Another music. <laughs> you know my, apparently my great, great granddad fell and drowned in here. Did he? Yeah. Sorry to hear about that. What, what this area? Oh. Over that side, over <laughs> the other side of that blue bridge. He was, um, he was a tramp. He came up from London. Um, my granddad's dad told my granddad that his granddad fell in here and drowned, drunk. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Not that deep. But it's cold at the moment. Yeah. Can we get that way round, Craig? Yeah, we go down that way then. Okay. And there's a bridge. See the old co-op sign up there? Yeah. Daily co-op It is a, a beautiful, iconic building. Yeah. Oh. Everybody knows it's got port there, isn't it? I know. It's not anything, it's the upkeep. Yeah, that's it, mate. Because they'll I mean, pay rent on that. What the window cleaner gets, <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't mind being a window cleaner. I used to be a window cleaner. Did you? Yeah. Did you ever, let's just say, 
see some funny sights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Accidentally taking their pajamas off. No, no, no. I mean like people asleep, still in bed, like. You know, right. yeah. And there's you cleaning the windows. Yeah, <laughs> curtains wide open. Well, you don't really expect a window cleaner to come up and uh, just, well, if you pay for it, I mean the window cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> I never used a window cleaner. Yeah. That's something else I didn't know. Yeah. I've done loads of jobs. Used to work on the milk, the milkman. <laughs> used to get all them jokes, right? Look at this. He's the window cleaner. Yeah. He's even milkman. <laughs> This old brickwork here, what? Yeah. What? That should be. What is it? It's called English Bond. This brickwork. You see, like, you've got your brick plane lengthways. Yeah. And you get them going that way. Let's have a closer look. This is where I fall in here. <laughs> Fuck it. Got to get back up, yeah. Oh, I'm getting, I'm used to... Okay. Yeah. It's pretty, Greg. Yeah. These old, say so these old factories. Caves on the other side. Is there? Yeah. I nearly went then, I nearly went. Well, these shoes, I really, not, to, 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 that's just to say, go on adventuring. No. Less note to self, uh, more surviving, less blogging. <laughs> Look at them caves over there. Yeah. Have you ever been in them caves? No. No. I, I think Mike has. Has he? Yeah, well, he's he, he brought up round here. And then look at the tunnels there, it's a bit of information. Yeah, yeah. I was in, I've been in the ones that were up near the, the motorway, up near Lancashire Hill, because a lot of them were air raid shelters. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you look, if you look at the brick, brick, brick structure, it's actually yeah, yeah. man made that. Yeah. I bet you could get up there. Oh, you can. But you'll need quite a few safety equipment. Yeah. Because <laughs> somebody got up there to make them in the first place, didn't Yeah, they? that's very true. You always find wherever you go, there's always some kind of history, some kind of beauty spot. Yeah. Even the most roughest of places. Yeah. Except Manchester. <laughs> because I me, I personally hate Manchester. What the centre you mean? Yes. Yeah. There's too many people. Yes, I'll grant there's plenty of hotties around there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, but there's just too many people, and everyone's in a rush or they're angry. So you walk around with this thing. Yeah. You might as well have a big flashing light and say, look at this idiot filming. Yeah. Okay, that's me by the way, yeah. And they're, and they're all avoiding you, and they're all telling you off. Well, my sister, she used to work in central London. She used to have to get tra uh, trams and all that like, and she used to say she hated the tourists because yeah. they were always in your way, because they're all in, like again, tunnel vision, yeah. in a rush. Got to get to work, you know what I mean? But you forget about all these people who don't live in the area and they want to see what sites there is. Yeah. You know what I mean? And people forget about that. I do do a few blogs around there, but it's not too too many. Yeah. I get dragged up there by Gary because he he's professional. Um, yeah, him. he likes taking pictures of, of interesting things. Yeah. When I, mean, I like just talking bollocks for 20 minutes. <laughs> and, uh, and you do it really well. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are the master, I must say. Yes. Note to self, cross Keto Greg of the list. <laughs> oh dear. This is what people like, they like normal. Everyday chit chat. Yeah, yeah well, we're not normal, are we? No. If you're normal, you won't be walking down the path next to the River Mersey. Yeah, that's true. Filming. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's a nice little walk. Get you out, mate, fresh air, a bit of exercise. Mm. You have a good chin wag. Yeah. I see men and oh everyone, not just men, people with penises, 
probably get in trouble over that, won't I? Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. But people with penises, we need to, let's just say, socialise, not in the way you're thinking, people, or what I'm thinking. We need to socialise and do the natural thing, what's called... T -t what's it called now? Talk it. Talk, that's it. Instead of texting, instead of communicating via, let's just say, electronic devices, which are pro probably this is. How many steps have you done? We walked a mile. We walked a mile, people. How many miles are we doing? Uh, about two and a half. Oh, two and a half. Get the blood pumping. Close to anyway. But it's pretty down here. It is. I love coming down here, especially mm. like this. You know, all the leaves on the floor, and yeah, you've got everything is not just green. You know, you've got your green and your yellows and your browns and your darks and your greys. Do you want to see something green? I've got something right. <laughs> right. <laughs> No, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. It's gone. It's gone back in. <laughs> yeah, it is definitely pretty. And the good thing about a GoPro, I know you've got yourself a GoPro, yeah. it amplifies the colour. Yeah, it does, yeah. And it really looks really pretty. Yeah. Especially if you do the full HD quality. Yeah. But it's a pain in the backside downloading it. Yeah, you, you had a problem with the 5G, didn't you? Yeah, I did try 5G, which went, went around Stockport. But luckily, I couldn't do any editing at all. I just downloaded it to YouTube. And thank you to YouTube, I automatically converted it to 4G, to 4K. Okay. So that's... No, 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 that's a lie. It, it was the, um, Go, the GoPro app what converted it back to right, 4K. Right. Do you use the app on your computer or your phone? No, on my phone. It's a, it's a lot easier. Yeah, I use the one. So you could just sit there. It takes you quite... People don't realise. It takes quite a few hours to edit videos. The easiest part is talking bollocks for 20 minutes. I find that rather easy. Easy. It's just the editing. You take it off your GoPro, put it onto your phone, and then edit it from your phone. Edit it from your phone, then upload it to YouTube, depending on your processor speed. So you use the GoPro to... Well, I use the GoPro, and then yeah. I'll download it to my GoPro app. Yeah. And then I'll edit from my GoPro app, put it, and I'll put it into like a film. Yeah. And then I'll download it to YouTube. All process takes what usually one day for, right. let's just say, a 20 minute video. Right. And it's a, it's a lot of, yeah, you've got to pay the extra cost but it is a lot easier. Well, me and Greg has done a walk around the River Mersey in Stockport and see anything interesting. Yeah, there's a, why is it every time we put this bloody GoPro on, a, 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 a plane comes over? We live that close to the airport, uh, which comes in handy when I'm going to work. Yeah, that's true, yeah. yeah not when it's I'm this. I know, because all the is that thing. Even when I'm filming in my flat, I've got the window open. Yeah. Every two or three minutes, there's planes coming over. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I have to put the windows and all that sort of stuff. But it is, it's certainly a beautiful river, isn't it? It is, yeah. The River Mersey. I think it goes all the way through to Liverpool. And there's so much history on the River Mersey. Yeah. I mean, there used to be like chocolate factories and all sorts around here. Uh, sometimes you can see if you look round the, the banks or yeah, the, yeah. the remnants of history yeah. and the, the old mills. There's a little robin over there, you just see it in the in the bush. You see it's red press. Pardon? <laughs> it's red press. Alright, oh, so okay. Um, nope. You look here, where it ends, it just flew off there. What the fuck? Keep flying around it. <laughs> Well, Winton's on its way, people. It's getting cold. Yeah. It is getting cold, mate. You feel it, the nippiness in the air? Yes. We're all wrapped up, keeping ourselves nice and warm. Yep. But I appreciate it, people. And if you want to look at Keto Craig, if you fancy being healthy, uh, have, check him out. And he's entertaining. And you may see, every so often, a special guest. Hey, and I wonder who that could be, hey? Oh, it's just this random, it's rather desperate really. <laughs> so check it out. I will put the 
I will put the sub at the end of this video. Thanks for watching, people. I appreciate you, every single one of you, and especially the local hotties. Catch you next time.